What's up team? Welcome back to another workout with me, Larissa. So today I'm going to be taking you through my upper body workout. So it's kind of just a whole upper body. <laughs> and just remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload new workouts. Okay, let's get lifting. Okay, deadlift is a more complex move, so you might need to do a little bit more research, but what I like to do is take an alternating hand grip, feet a little bit shoulder hip width apart, maybe a little wider, roll the bar into my shins in like a nice squat formation, like bringing my hips back and keeping it nice and close to my body. And we're just going to lift up, pressing through our heels as we pull the bar up and then reversing it, again, keeping the bar nice and close to our body the entire time. You may need to readjust, like rolling your shoulders back every once in a while. Do your best. <laughs> All right, our first superset starts off with a shoulder press with dumbbells. You can just do a standard shoulder press, which is like the dumbbells aren't turning. However, I like to rotate the dumbbells just a little bit just because it feels better on my shoulder personally. So I press up and coming back down to just a little below 90 and then pressing back up. And if you are having trouble swaying, you can always sit down on a bench um, with or without a back to make it a little bit easier. Try not to use your legs, I'm kind of cheating. <laughs> and we superset that with um, dumbbell curls, just regular ones. So just curling up, going all the way down to about 85% of the way down, and then curling back up. This is the standard bro arm day lift right here. Doing curls for the girls, buys for the guys. What more could you want out of dumbbell curls? But again, um, if you are having trouble swaying, you can also take a seat as well with this one. Our next superset starts off with um, like an extension, I guess. So laying down on a bench, um, you're going to take the dumbbell and bring your arms up over your chest, hold cradling the dumbbell, and then extend it back overhead. It feels like a nice little stretch in the upper back. You could also do this on a decline bench um, if you wanted to. I've done that before. It feels really nice. Yeah, and you're just pressing it back up. And not trying to use momentum, but really making that mind to muscle connection and focusing on pulling that back up with your muscles, as well as like letting it down with your muscles and activating them. So, this is working our lats and a little bit more of our back muscles. Nice. Gotta get those wings. So the second move to this superset is a dumbbell laying tricep extension. Some people call them skull crushers, I think. Uh, so again, extending your arms up overhead and laying down on a bench, you're going to take a dumbbell 
and just bend your elbows to about 90, maybe a little more. I'm trying not to hit your head because <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you're just trying to bend your elbows, minimizing the movement in your shoulders. There's not going to be a whole lot of movement in the shoulders. There will be slight just because of the dumbbell placement. Um, you could also, I guess, hold it on the side of the dumbbell, but I just have a not as strong of a grip for that. And our last superset is a T-bar row. So you're going to put a bar in a corner or on a landmine is what those are called. And you're going to grab like a little handle. Um, and yep, you're going to bend or flex your body over pushing your hips back. So you're in almost a flat or parallel with the floor and you're going to just pull up keeping your elbows nice and close into you. Again, using your back muscles to do this, not arching your back, flat back. And we are supersetting those with dips. You can use a um, assisted dip machine or the only thing I had available was this bench. <laughs> so um, you can bend your knees to make it easier. You can straighten your legs to make it more difficult or you can actually do them in the air, whatever. Um, but we're keeping our elbows nice and close into us, trying to keep them from flaring out as we lower ourselves down, making a 90 degree angle with our arms. If this is too hard on your shoulders, just don't do them. Boom, problem solved. 